Hi there guys, uh, welcome back. Um, we are on week 6 now, so we've done um, all the projections already, so we understand how projections work, what the theory behind it, the types of projection and all that. So we've done uh, how to set up that stuff inside Maya, how to set up a um, that system inside Nuke. Now that you have that knowledge, I think we just start literally just getting your hands you know on into your project so what I've done is I just taken these images from the internet and um, I think I, I haven't been able to find the uh, author of this so I can put it here in the credits uh, but obviously this is educational purpose it should be fine so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of these images and then trying to start doing the template so we can start working inside um, and creating the basic geometry inside Maya so um, so the first step we need to do is just uh, pretty much pick up one of these images. Uh, you're going to have your own thumbnail. You will have something like this similar or, or be more um, elaborate than this. I take in this image and all I did was I went into the selection tool and I just um, let's get here and then I just you know selected the image and control C, control V and then it's now create a new project, a new sorry, a new um, um, image and, and I gave it um, a size of like the the final which is going to be 1920 by 1080 so it's a 1080 HD so um and then I went there and I start um, um, sort of working out what the things that I need to start um, dissecting so what I did was I started working on um, individual items so the, the point here is that you are going to recreate geometry for every single one of the key landmarks here that we have in the in the um, and this in particular about paint. Here, so you go here, floor, sort of a valley. Uh, you go this stuff uh, here, some sort of like a, I don't know, some sort of um, piece of rock there in the front. I chose this because it's, it's quite interesting because you got something in the middle on the side, and you got something in the background, so you can sort of create parallax there when you move the camera. But obviously, I'm not gonna go take that project all the way to that level. So I'm just gonna create the the basic framework here, the just the skeleton of of the actual. Um, scene inside Maya so the the point is is you have to establish where your things are okay first obviously you need to establish the where's your horizon okay and then you need to establish all the every single one of these points so so ideally what you do is um, if you want to establish the horizon I'm just gonna create a new layer and then I'm gonna show you what I done at the end so I just pick up a color so I went there and I just pick up I don't know bright red or something and then I say okay I'm gonna press shift and I say well my horizon according to this is somewhere around here so I can uh, to go actually select the brush I pick the color already, so I press shift and I just find the horizon. I say the horizon is around here, so you press shift and then draw, and you know that's gonna be your horizon. So you know, based on this camera, this is your horizon. Now, if you wanna write it down here in the corner, your height, you can probably say how high this camera is from the ground. But then I'm gonna show you a little nice trick and then how to do that in, a, in an extra piece of an extra piece of jet layer here, so you can create a profile. So. So you do that, and then you start, you know, picking out different colors. It's just for you as a guideline, so you know where things are. And then uh, so you have, a, like, a guideline inside Maya where to put things. So, um, obviously, all this stuff here, and, for example, all this stuff here probably can be a single a single piece of geometry. That would be, like, some sort of a valley. So, and then you put a dot here, and then you say, this is going to be, I don't know, an average here, the point here. This distance is about, from the camera, they say, you say, I don't know, it's... God knows, uh, six, seven, eight hundred meters or something like that. I'm just guessing numbers here, but you should need to work this out more. And then I'm just gonna draw a line here, and I say, well, around here, this is gonna be like I don't know, six hundred meters. And then here is about twelve hundred meters. I don't know. And then you start picking up another color, and then you go say, I'm gonna pick up I don't know this color here. Let's go. This is my other element. So what I'm doing is just I'm dissecting the elements that I'm gonna be using in Maya. Um, so I know roughly what I have to model. So this is going to be the other one. This guy is, I don't know, he's about, I don't know, 100 meters from the camera at this shot, at this angle. This could be the beginning, this could be the end, it's up to you, or the, or the sequence. And, um, and then, let me undo this. Um, at the end of the day, you have to work it out these numbers. So roughly on the painter, you need to, you know, make that, you know, executive decision and say, well, this guy is going to be 100 meters, or so whatever, 200 meters. So, and again, this uh, you would say this is another one here, but you pick, ideally you pick up another color, and then you say, I don't know, I'm just gonna pick up a I don't know, sort of uh, greenish color, and then I'm just gonna say this guy here, for example, this bit here is I don't know, is um, 900 meters or something like that, and then I don't know, I'm gonna go and pick up another one, so I'm just gonna pick up these, and there's this little big cliff here, this stuff here that looks very obviously. This is a painting that obviously in the internet I just didn't have any thought. And, 
if you see that something is here in the front, then you can probably put another layer so you get a little bit of parallax between it. And you say, well, this guy's going to be, I don't know, um, 1200 meters. Something. And then you keep going, and then until you find the background and everything. And then that would be like your template. So you know that in Maya, when you model something here, for example, you say that this piece of geometry that you're going to model in Maya, very rough, is going to be 100 meters from the camera. And then you will know. And say, when you put everything in perspective, everything will fit in place. So I done that already. I done sort of a template already here, and I done this. I done, I guess, two hundred meters. I don't know. I'm just guessing. And then, then you can start working as well on the on the profile or how far things are from the camera. So what you can do is you can probably create this here, but just um, I'm just gonna put um, a new layer here, and then I'm gonna create another another one of these sort of skeleton but it's going to be sort of like a profile just look at just imagine that you're going to be doing it from i don't know i'm going to do everything in black or something i'm just gonna this is going to be the camera okay okay sort of a camera and then i'm gonna press um so i press here shift and i get this out here and then i'm just gonna do this draw line. So this is the camera. This is what the camera is going to see. This is uh, zero meters. And this is, I don't know, you can then work it out how far, how tall do you think you are from the camera? Or this stuff is, they say this stuff is the sort of mid ground here. And then you're going to, the foreground, and it's going to be like the reference. And you will say, well, my camera, this is 200 meters. I'm probably around 80 meters high. So 80 is going to be around here. So this is going to be 80. So your profile from the camera will be, you're going to have to create a piece of geometry here, which is this one and then you're gonna do and you're gonna have a valley here and then you're gonna have this geometry here which is another one there and then probably this one here will be this be here and then you're gonna continue and then you're gonna have this be here which is not a thousand meters and then you're gonna have this big run with 1600 meters here and then at the end here you're gonna have the little bits at the end and then you're gonna have this guy here so here will be this guy so based on this you will have that I don't know from here it's gonna be zero meters and from here it's all gonna be I don't know 5,000 meters because you don't have to put obviously the guy's going to be too high but you need to be realistic you cannot you don't kind of put something that is I don't know 150 miles from the from the camera because you'll not be able to, to render it but I think after because you just remember that the rule of parallax as long as you pass this point here then because this stuff is so far away you would not see any parallax the parallax if you move the camera here hardly any parallax because the stuff is so far away and it's so much in between that you're not gonna be see you're not gonna be seeing any any shifting in perspective. So here you shouldn't be worried. You should probably cap it to five thousand meters or six thousand meters. But this stuff here from here to here, there is some distance. It's from here to here, and especially all the way there. You remember the parallax. The stuff you put here is gonna move more than the stuff you put there. So you need to worry from here to there, pretty much. And then the rest here it will be probably a couple of layers. One layer for this old mountain, this little mountain here. 3,000 meters and then the sky another layer here with a curve and that's it five six thousand you can place it eyeball it later on but the, the the point is that you have to create this sort of template so you know where things are and then you, when you bring it back into Maya then we're gonna start creating this uh, sort of um, setup so um, that's it for now guys uh, once you had your painting that you have to dissect it like I said here in layers what are you gonna put where and how far is from the camera and then we're gonna bring have this in mind and then um, having that, so we can probably bring only use this, like this, for creating your stuff inside Maya. And then you know that this stuff is the stuff that you're going to be doing in, in Photoshop. And then painting it and then baking the light and make sure where the light is going to be. It's going to be even later. Then you can do all the color correction and all that. And then do it at the end, put it together inside Nuke. Then animate it. So that's it for now guys, this is going to be the first video for the series and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on into Maya now and then I'm going to start putting all this stuff together with locators so we know how stuff this stuff is from the sky, uh, how high is from the, from the horizon, uh, sorry the camera view to this point and how far this is and so we use basic locators so we know where those landmarks are and then we start creating some basic geometry for it and then we animate the camera and then we start putting the projections and then we start rendering stuff out very simple so we can bring in Photoshop and start you know painting stuff. Alright guys, that's it for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.